What's up guys, Rhett Harmon, and once again, video has had me end up in that kind of an awkward predicament. I'm actually in court right now, but I'm here voluntarily with the Honorable Judge Edie Haney. Did I get that right? That's correct. Yeah. So congratulations, by the way, the new Thank probate you. judge for Car uh, Carroll you. County, and uh, tell us a little bit about your new role and how it all works. Well, I took office January 2nd of this year. I was fortunate to be appointed as successor to Judge Betty Kaysen, who served our county for 22 years. So I am the appointed um, probate judge to fulfill out her unexpired term. She resigned effective December 31st of last year, 2018. And so I took office January 2nd at the appointment of Judge Simpson. Okay, how, long, how, how much longer does that go? Um, I run, her term ran through December 2020. And okay. so I'll serve the remainder of her term through December 2020. Okay, very cool. All right. And uh, so we're going to do a series here, and we're going to have a couple more videos. You guys need to tune into these um, about what probate court does, how does it tie into real estate, and, and basically everyone is affected by probate court at some point in time in their life. Is that pretty fair to say? That's pretty much true. It's funny, I say that we serve people in the very best of times. We issue marriage licenses and sometimes in the worst of times. So when people have lost a loved one, all estates come through the probate court. So um, if there are assets or property of someone who's passed away that need to be distributed, all of that's handled through the probate court. So whether there's a will, there's no will, um, spouse and minor children, all of those things, any assets that belong to an estate, to someone who's passed away, come through the probate court. So. Definitely, and that very much ties into what we do in the real estate industry because if uh, we're having to sell a property for whatever reason after someone has passed, it has not gone through the proper channels, it can cause major problems. Exactly, exactly. My background is actually in estate planning and probate. I practiced in that area um, and also in real estate for 15 years with the firm Tysinger Vance. And so I think that you did is my, my first background. closing, I believe. I probably did. I probably <laughs> did. I probably did several for you. <laughs> several, yes. But and as a and as a real estate agent, I'm sure I did a number. Definitely. But what I what I found found as um, a real estate attorney particularly was that often that was um, an event when you found out that someone had passed away, often it was something that could I hate to say derail a closing, but definitely um, postpone, delay, that could cause a real problem in real estate. I, so, as a newer, when I was a newer, inexperienced agent, um, right. you know, not asking the proper questions. Exactly. Uh, you know, you only happens one time when you get to think you're getting to a closing, only to realize that the estate wasn't probated properly, and it's going to be a delay of, of several weeks or, or possibly longer. Exactly, and I always, as a practicing attorney, I would always, when I did, I did some real estate education then, and I would always encourage agents that as soon as they took a listing to pull the deed, inquire about whose names are on the deed. Has there been someone that's passed away? Is there an unexpected title? And those are the type of things that if you address them early while you have a listing in process, you can deal with those things typically during a listing process, but you don't want it to show up when you get the official title work done right before closing. Now, very, very, very important. So, right. Well, that's very cool. So check into us for the next um, episode of what we're gonna be talking about with uh, Ask Judge Edie. Can we call it that segment? Sure, absolutely. Right. <laughs>